O Sigma, Sigma, wherefore art thou Sigma? You deny thy people that most beautiful of lens, that which be both long to slain mine enemies from great distances, and yet offer wondrous bouquet. It pains me so, this lens which I seek once belongeth to me in a previous life, foolishly sold for another. Oh, how I strangely miss the ache in my arm from thy unspeakable mass. And yet, as certain as each day will eventually end, I knoweth in mine heart and head that lighter could be true if I try. How I yearn to see that isolation once more, not to be, for thy have banished it into the past, it seems, unwilling to revive its glory in a world without mirrors. Cast your ears to a sigma, for we pray that you listen. Hear the calling of those around screaming, Where is the mirrorless 120 to 300? Take note, people. This, this is what sleep-deprived mental breakdowns look like. You know, any sane, rational human being would decide that they wanted to make a video talking about a hypothetical Sigma lens, and they just talk about it. My head managed to make the wafer-thin link between Sigma art lenses and the word art appearing at the start of the Romeo and Juliet monologue. And that was the result. And yet the lens in question's not even an art lens, it's a sport lens. Anyway. Yes, I used to own the Sigma 120 to 300 mm f2.8. In fact, I owned two of them because I had the DGOS HSM and then upgraded it to the sport version. And I always thought they were vastly underrated because I never saw anybody using them. I even made a video talking about how I thought they were very underrated. And then two months later, I sold it. That, for me, is the single biggest mistake with gear that I have ever made. And to this day, I regret selling that lens. I mean, I sold it because while I loved the images that it pr produced, it just wasn't getting used enough. And I put that down to the weight because it's a damn heavy lens, especially the sport version. I mean, the DG OS HSM is a tank with a lens hood stuck to the front of it. The sport version is just been upgraded by throwing some bricks in through the hatch. So when I made the switch from Canon DSLRs to Sony mirrorless back in 2018, I decided to part ways with that lens and replace it with the Sony 100 to 400 G Master. I mean, I was kind of working on the theory that if I wasn't using the Sigma because of the weight, if I replaced it with a lighter lens, then that would get more use and justify having it. But then, by the middle of last year, I realized that in reality, the G Master lens wasn't getting much more use than I got from the Sigma anyway. And then, with the uncertainty of COVID, a house move on the horizon, and a baby on the way, I needed to free up some cash, and the GM wasn't getting enough use to justify keeping it. So, I replaced it with the much cheaper Sigma 150 to 600 mil contemporary DSLR lens. Now, that works okay adapted onto Sony, but no doubt the native version performs much better. So, while I regret selling the 120 to 300, and I probably could have saved myself a lot of money in depreciation if I just kept it to begin with, I'm not convinced that it ultimately would have worked as well adapted onto Sony mirrorless as it did fitted onto Canon DSLRs. But it leads me to a clear conclusion. Sigma need to create a new 120 to 300 mil developed specifically for mirrorless. Given that their recent 150 to 600 mil sport for mirrorless is not only physically smaller than the older DSLR version, but is crucially almost 30% lighter, from 3.1 kilos down to 2.2. So if they could make that same sort of progress with the 120 to 300 mil sport they could bring the weight of that down to somewhere around two and a half kilos. <sighs> oh, to dream. But dream, it shall probably remain, because even if they were to bring out such a lens tomorrow, I have 
a few too many kids to even have a snowball's chance in hell of buying it at the moment. But such a lens would surely be a big hit for some people. I mean, the DSLR versions were the only zoom lenses that offered f2.8 beyond 200mm. Well, aside from the sheer insanity which we know as their 200 to 500 f2.8, which isn't really a camera lens anyway, it's an observation telescope that they just forgot to build the observatory for. But for lenses that don't require a forklift truck to operate, the 120 to 300 perfectly fills the gap between a 70 to 200 f2.8, which are versatile but obviously don't have as much reach as a 300 mil, up to the 300 primes, which are very large and are fixed at 300 mil, so you can't go wider if you need to. And since all the 300 mils are almost double the price of the Sigma, and more so at the moment, none of the manufacturers currently are offering 300mm f2.8 primes native to their mirrorless, surely a mirrorless 120 to 300 would be a great option for people wanting a fast telephoto zoom lens. So there we are. That is my biggest gear regret, and it's also the lens that I would most like to see released, even if I'll probably never own it. But what is your biggest regret, and what would be your perfect lens? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, why not help support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video.